Hey Wildcat fans, time for one of our uh, player interviews. This will be our first for the 2020-2021 season. Uh, we're on the road at the Rathlis Link Community Center in Truro. Normally, there'd be two guys in the shot, but, well, we're doing this uh, socially distance interviews this year. And this time I'm standing by with one of the Wildcat goaltenders for this season. It's Marcus Petipov. And there he is, Marcus. Thanks so much for talking to me. Thanks for having me. All right, well, for you're one of the new faces, so for people who don't know you, uh, you know, tell me about uh, getting into hockey, where you played, and your journey that's brought you here. Uh, so I grew up in East Dance playing hockey uh, ever since I can remember. I actually started off as a player. I was a forward, and then I switched to goalie in uh, Adam. And I played through the East Dance minor hockey system until midget, where I went to Sackville to play two years in minor midget. And then I played one year in Picto with uh, the Weeks major midget team, and then uh, got drafted to the Valley, and I went there this year to try it and made the team. Yeah, uh, tell me about the uh, the transition. I've heard a lot of different uh, goaltenders, you know, start off as an out player and go back. Some have blatantly told me they were terrible out players and became a goalie, and some just had the passion for it. Uh, what made you switch? Uh, I guess my dad was the biggest factor for me because he was a goalie growing up, and we always bonded over watching. Like we, we were a big fan of Carey Price with the Montreal Canadiens, and I think that was probably one of the biggest factors. Just having him as a goalie made me want to switch. Ah, uh, yes. There's a, there's usually some sort of family yeah. uh, connection along the way there. Yeah. So uh, I, I guess you've you've yeah always been involved in hockey. If your dad played, and you yeah. know very much just a, a whole family affair. Yeah, I got three older brothers who all played hockey, and then my younger sister also played at one point. Oh, so everybody. Yeah, we, had a, we had a big <laughs> hockey family. Uh, very good. Uh, last season, you already said you are with the uh, Weeks uh, organization, uh, U18 majors. Uh, tell me about the season uh, there last year, because it was pretty darn good, and before things got shut down, you guys were really rolling. Yeah, we had a great team, a strong young core with a lot of them ended up getting drafted. Uh, we weren't really expected to do that well, I don't believe. A lot of teams kind of just overlooked us, but I think uh, we surprised a lot of teams with our young, fast, and very offensive players. And then you mentioned uh, you had the draft in uh, in June, and you end up getting uh, taken by the Wildcats. Uh, you know, tell me about that. Oh uh, yeah, well, I was uh, just out with my family, and I got a call from Brandon asking if uh, that was something I'd be interested in getting playing in the Junior A League, and it definitely was. And I couldn't have been more happy to hear my name called. And certainly uh, coming in here, uh, you know, the Wildcats bring in Justin Bork out of Quebec. Chad Arsenault was here. Uh, was certainly no guarantee you were going to make this team, but uh, you showed up and you've played very, very well throughout the, uh, the preseason and training camp getting yourself to this point. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, uh, we're very, very happy to have you uh, in between the pipes. Uh, I remember... Uh, on draft day, a lot of guys out of Pictou County saying, you know, that was a, a steal getting uh, this guy where we got him in the draft. So we're very excited to uh, to bring you on board. Tell me about your uh, your play style. Some goaltenders do things a little bit differently than others. Uh, what are the what are the big keys to your game? Uh, I think I'm just really good at reacting to the play. Like I could, you could give me the same shot, and I'll probably make the save three different ways. I just I react to the play, and I'm very athletic. I find and. Uh, I just challenge the best I can and usually end up trying to make a weird save, but <laughs> not really by the textbook kind uh, of guy. As long as it stays out of the net, that's yeah. all that matters. And what are the things that uh, you know, you're know you working on that you're trying to improve upon this year? I'm definitely trying to work on staying up uh, longer as these players can uh, rip the pucks over my shoulders a lot harder. And definitely my rebound control and just clearing pucks out, coming at me and then getting them to the corner out of harm's way. Yeah, it is uh, definitely a transition every time you go up an age group. And when you're coming into junior facing guys who are potentially 20 and 21 years old, yeah, you're right, they got some shots. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and uh, finally, you know, let's uh, let's talk about away from hockey uh, a little bit. You know, get to know you a little bit more. What do you like to do when you're away from the rink? Um, I just like spending time with my family. We've got a very close family. So my brother's building a house. I've been helping him with that and just spending some quality family time and hanging out with friends back home whenever I'm not on the ice. Uh, and you've been able to, uh, family and everyone's been uh, okay throughout the whole pandemic? Yeah, everyone's uh, everyone's doing great. I have my family come and visit me every few weekends up here in uh, the Valley. All right, very good. Well, best of luck this year. Thank you very much.